Here we have for sale our 2018 on an 18 plate Ford Transit Connect Limited. This is the 240 model, which means it's got the 2.4 ton gross vehicle weight. This is the L2 long wheelbase. It's got the 1.5 TDCI 120 brake horsepower engine in it, which is of course Euro 6, which I'll talk you through in a little bit more detail later in the video. And what we're gonna do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec which you get on a Transit Connect Limited of this age. There's one or two optional extras on this particular van as well, which I'll talk you through. And we'll also look at the condition, service history, ownership as well, seeing as this vehicle is currently available for sale. So starting here at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that we've got rear barn doors. What I mean by that are two doors which open in that sort of fashion. Uh, this color, by the way, is called Magnetic. It's a lovely metallic gray color. Very, very popular in the Ford range. One of my personal favorites. Also, while we're here at the rear, you can see that, um, uh, well, I can talk you through some of the spec here. So on a limited, a number of elements are color coded and that includes the door handles. Certainly gives the van a more premium look. If we look at the rear bumper, limited will come as standard with rear parking sensors there nicely integrated into the rear bumper. But this one has actually got a reversing camera, which is not uh, standard. That is actually an optional extra from the factory. So it's very nice to see one with a reversing camera like this. In terms of condition, of course, this is a used commercial vehicle, so it's not brand new. They're not used to go to the shops on a Sunday. There are a couple of small little marks in it, which I, of course, will point out to you. If you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know I'm very, very honest when it comes to, um, you know, pointing out any blemishes at all. And there are a couple of small little blemishes here on the rear doors. So I'm just pointing out there. And there's a couple just here. That's a little um, mark there, which has been touched in by the looks of it. And I say just a couple of small little marks. Nothing um, substantial, but as I say, we like to point out anything which, uh, which I can see. Opening up the rear barn doors then, you'll see when you open up the rear barn doors, you've got this yellow button just here. If you push on that yellow button, that then allows you to open the rear doors to their 180 degree position. And you can do exactly the same with both rear doors. So simply push on the yellow button just there, and then they open up right the way to their 180 degree position. Of course, then this gives you maximum accessibility into the back. And then this gives us a chance to look at the condition of the inside of the rear doors. And these are actually looking very, very good. These sort of exposed metal areas here, these are the areas which will show if a van has had a hard life. If this van was, um, had been used for heavy work, these sort of areas would be absolutely battered. Um, and of course, you can see you've got a couple of little marks, but that is looking very nice indeed. Looking in the back of here, again, of course, you are gonna get a couple of little uh, marks here or there, which is as to be expected, but all in all looking very good. This one has got an LED uh, load light, also nice to see. And you get these plastic trims on the Transit Connect just there. And this is the factory flooring. It's a sort of a plastic floor, which you can actually take out if you undo the tie down points, you can actually take the whole floor out makes it much easier to clean. So if you were to spill something on this, you can pull it out, give it a wash off and then get it back in the van. But, and it also acts to protect the floor as well. We've got the factory fitted bulkhead just there. And as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we've got the load through hatch, which I'll talk you through in just a second when we go around to the side loading door. And as I briefly mentioned, the tie down points, plenty of tie down points in the back of here. The bulkhead can be removed. They are just bolted in around the outside. So if you wanted to take that out, that is easy enough to do. If we shut the rear barn doors, we'll continue then to go down the passenger side of the vehicle. And what we're gonna do here is have a look down the side, use all the reflections and things of the buildings behind to see if there's any marks, ripples, dents, anything like that that I can see. If there is anything, I will certainly point it out to you, but it is looking really clean and straight down the side of there. I can see a little mark here on the passenger door. I don't know if you can see that, but just down here, a little mark just there. I say it's not particularly noticeable, but as I say, I will point out anything that I can see. Opening up the passenger door then. I say this gives you another aspect then of the load area and the factory fitted bulkhead. And as I say, this is where we've got the nice load through hatch. So you simply give this a good pull. Uh, it is, it, it, uh, holds shut and holds open via a magnet so it magnetizes to the bulkhead and this is where you can actually load through then into 
the cab of the vehicle. If I open up the passenger door, I'll just quickly show you a couple of bits in here before I show you that. So looking at the passenger door card there, that's all looking in really good order. Excuse my shadow with my big gimbal and microphone and all the rest of it. Uh, and if we have a look, quick look here as well, we've also got some nice service history with the vehicle. So last service here, done in January 2020 at 17,996 miles. And this is actually the bill uh, to go along with that. So you can see there, January uh, 2020, 17,996. And you can see here, carry out 20,000 mile service with the oil, etc., which was done there. So always nice to see a good stamped service book with the vehicle. And having a look here at the dashboard, all looking very nice. We've got some Transit Connect over mats in here. And then this is what I wanted to show you with regards to the load through. So you'll see on top of the seat here, this little red tab. If you give that a pull, you can then fold the seat all the way down flat. There's a nice metal back on that seat just there. And then as I say, what that allows you to do then is load all the way through into the passenger footwell. So even for a relatively small van, you have a fantastic load length going through just there. Then as I say, you can simply put the seat back up. The headrest remains on the bulkhead, which is quite quirky. Uh, and as I say, that's as simple as it is to use. You can even do it with one hand. Underneath here, there's a little handle. If you give that a little pull, the handle is just like so. You can then actually gain access then underneath the seats. And as I say, if you wanted to load something there, I guess you could if you wanted to. You can pull up the middle seat as well for a bit more storage. And there's actually a couple of USB ports in there as well. And this is a good chance to show you the 12 volt socket, which is just here, and also the heated driver's seat with multiple settings. We put these seats down. And then finally, we've got another uh, red tab just here. If I give that a pull, you can then fold the middle down just there, which gives you a couple of cup holders and somewhere to store your paperwork as well. I'll talk you through a bit more of the spec when we go around to the uh, driver's side. As I mentioned near the start of the video, this van is Euro 6, meaning you can go into the ultra low emissions zone areas such as central London without having to pay the ultra low emissions zone charge. Very handy indeed. As I also briefly mentioned earlier, you get a number of elements which are color coded. That also includes the wing mirrors and the front bumper. And again, especially in a nice metallic color like this, it just really sets the van off nicely. And looking here, looking at the condition of the front, it's all looking really nice and clean. Actually, it looks like we've got two new front tires on this particular van. Looking at the bonnet here, of course, you're gonna get the odd stone chip here or there, but that's all looking really, really nice and clean. There is a little touch in just there. You can also see that we've got front fog lights on the van and the 16 inch limited alloy wheels as well. Having a quick look down the driver's side then before we go into the cab. Again, using the reflections there to look for any dents or ripples or anything like that. It's all looking pretty clean, to be honest with you. There's a couple of, I mean, extremely minor outward dents just there. But uh, as I say, that is really being quite critical. You've really got to get in the reflections to try and spot those. If we open up the driver's door then, just so quickly see if there's anything else I can see. It's all looking pretty good. Another thing to mention as well, we've got these nice three roof bars, DMA roof bars. Always handy if you want to load something longer, maybe a ladder on the roof or something like that. And then if we open up the driver's door here, we can have a look at the condition and spec inside. Let me just grab this mat out of the way there. So on top of the driver's door, we have electric windows. You also have electric folding mirrors. Let me just get rid of this mat. And then we have got auto activated lights and wipers. You can see here that we've got two full remote keys with the vehicle. As I say, this one has got the Transit, Cust uh, Transit Connect over mats. I know there is a little bit of wear in the floor here, which I always like to show. So there's a little bit of wear just there in the floor. But as I said, previous owner looks to have covered that with uh, a Transit Connect over mat. But as I say, we're very honest here. Anything that I know of, I will, uh, I will certainly show you. A little bit of wear here as well, just where, you know, usual places on a van where people have sort of been getting in and out of the van. 
Looking at the driver's seat, plenty of adjustability here. So we've got height adjustability on the driver's seat, for backrest adjustability. And in terms of condition, absolutely spot on. There's no rips, tears, cigarette burns, anything like that. It's all in really good order. We've got the leather multifunctioning steering wheel. On the right hand side here, we've got the volume controls for the radio. And also you can answer and hang up the phone. And then on the left hand side, you've got the onboard computer controls. And that is up here in front of us, in the middle of the speedo. And that's where you can see the mileage, 31,382 miles. Just down to the left here, we've got your cruise control. Very, very nice to have indeed. If you look just under here, there's a little hidden sort of button under there. You pull on that, and that gives you a bit more storage up there on top of the dashboard, and even a little 12 volt socket. If we jump inside the cab, bit cooler in here so looking at the nice screen that we've got at the top so start off with you can see that we've got DAB radio we've also got satellite navigation on here very nice to find indeed if I put the van into reverse this is where you'll see the reversing camera there lovely and clear great size on the reversing camera as well in my opinion looking down here air conditioning which I can confirm is blowing lovely and cold on a nice warm day like today we've got heated windscreen that's the actual elements in the screen not just the blowers and to go along with that 120 brake horsepower engine six-speed manual gearbox on a small van like this um, 120 brake horsepower and six-speed gearbox is very nice to find and this van will go really really well for as I say a relatively small van that's the sort of power that you were used to seeing in something a lot bigger like a Transit Custom or a Vauxhall Vivaro something along those lines so to see 120 brake horsepower in a van of this size very very nice indeed this van is one owner from new so just to summarize Ford Transit Connect 240 long wheelbase limited with a 1.5 TDCI engine 120 brake horsepower as a limited spec in the magnetic metallic magnetic gray lovely host of spec on a limited including air conditioning color coded front bumper alloy wheels cruise control heated windscreen so on so forth air conditioning as i mentioned uh, but also this particular example has the satellite navigation and the reversing camera as well and as you saw on the passenger seat there we have got some nice service history with the van and of course it will be going through our workshop as well before it leaves us if you'd like to inquire please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign we can arrange finance on all of our vans starting as low as 7.9 percent apr and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well thank you very much for watching